If you're learning data analytics right now, let me ask you something real. How many hours have you spent jumping from a SQL course to a Python tutorial to another Excel cheat sheet only to feel completely lost and wonder, am I ever going to get a job as a data analyst? Honestly speaking, I've been there too. I've spent months drowning in playlists, copying code I would never use and feeling like every new tool that I learned pushed me further away from the finish line, from a job as a data analyst. But here's the thing, the market is evolving. AI has completely changed the game and suddenly the expectations for data analysts have gone up way higher. It's high time you should realize if you don't follow a proper structured roadmap to learn data analytics, you'd be stuck following outdated advice learning the same tutorials again and again forever. Endless time. So today, I'll walk you through the exact roadmap I wish I had when I started. Tool by tool, skill by skill, so you can skip the confusion and walk into interviews with confidence. If I had to start from scratch today, this is exactly what I'd do. So before we begin, here's what we'll cover in this roadmap. The key skills you need to become a data analyst in today's market. From tools like SQL, Excel, Python, to topics like statistics and data visualization. I'll also share some advanced topics like machine learning and cloud that you need to learn to stand out in your job application. I've broken down each and every topic into beginner, intermediate and advanced categories with free resources and practice links. So watch till the end because this roadmap will be a complete game changer for your career. The first thing you'll need to learn is statistics. Statistics is very important because you need to understand the data before you can analyze it. Start with the basics like mean, median, standard deviation and distributions like normal and uniform. Next, dive into probability, z-scores, correlation, causation and confidence intervals. This is what prepares you for A-B testing and real-world decision making. Now you don't need to master all the advanced stats right now. Start with the basics, apply them in projects and come back to advanced stuff later when you need it. I've included some YouTube resources like StatQuest and KrishnaX playlist. You can also go to these websites I've mentioned to practice your stat skills for free. The next topic we'll cover is Excel. You might not realize it now, but a lot of entry level data analysts use Excel more than Python or Tableau in their day to day work. So start with understanding the basics like cell ranges, tabs, and simple formulas like sum, average, and count. Then move on to if statements, pivot tables, and VLOOKUP. Now you don't have to learn every single function in Excel. Start with what gets used 80% of the time and build confidence from there. Resources like Leela Gharani's YouTube channel are gold. Again, if you want some hands-on practice, go to these websites I've mentioned. Now comes the most important topic, SQL. SQL is literally the language of data. You could skip learning Python, but SQL is absolutely non-negotiable. I know I said you don't need to learn all the advanced stuff for previous topics, but when it comes to SQL, the more you know, the better. Start with select, where, group by and aggregate functions. Then move on to joins, case statements and subqueries. Go all the way till the advanced concepts like CTEs, window functions, lead and lag. These will help you write more efficient queries. All of these resources listed here are amazing and they cover all the topics you need to know in your SQL prep. But don't just get stuck watching videos or tutorials. Go to these practice websites and put those skills to use. A little bonus resource, I recently posted a SQL project using a real world dataset on my channel. It's beginner friendly and a great addition to your portfolio. So do check that out. The next thing to learn is Python. Now if you're completely new to Python, start with these topics in the beginner level. Learn about syntax, variables, data types, data structures, loops and functions. You can refer to any of the tutorials I've mentioned. Once you have an understanding of the beginner level Python, or if you already know Python, you can start with intermediate topics. There are mainly two important libraries, 
commonly used for data analysis which are numpy and pandas so learn them properly after this you'll be ready to go with deeper and advanced topics like exploratory data analysis and feature engineering again i want to emphasize that don't just watch tutorials but practice with them you can copy some code but make sure you understand and modify it for your own needs start with resources from kaggle and use platforms like hacker rank to practice questions now comes the fun topic data visualization this is where your analysis comes to life you can choose either tableau or power bi it doesn't matter which tool you pick you should be able to tell a good story with your data start with bar and line charts filters sample dashboards then move to topics like parameters calculated fields and interactivity also learn to connect different kinds of data sources to tableau or power bi eventually you should master executive level dashboards and storytelling remember you don't have to make fancy dashboards from day one learn to tell simple and clear stories with your charts first design comes with practice now let's talk about cloud is it mandatory to get a data analyst job no but here's the thing many companies today store their data on the cloud and increasingly they expect data analysts to know how to access this data whether it's pulling data from the cloud or running queries on cloud platforms so while cloud isn't something you need to rush into it's definitely something you should get comfortable with over time pick any one cloud platform like aws or azure or gcp you don't have to go deep into pipelines or architecture even just learning the basics like how to query data from cloud how to connect your dashboards with cloud or understanding cloud storage concepts can make your profile really stand out especially if you're targeting roles in product based companies or fast moving startups lastly we have machine learning and same goes for machine learning as well you don't need it to land your first data analyst job but in 2025 companies love when analysts have a basic understanding of machine learning and with ai becoming a part of every company's workflow just knowing how machine learning models are built how predictions work or even how chat gpt connects to business use cases gives you a serious edge over other candidates so no it's not required but if you want to grow faster stand out in interviews or even explore a career in data science later you need to learn machine learning now this road map isn't about checking off every topic it's about learning what gets you hired you don't need to master everything if you've learned even 50 to 60% of this road map that's more than enough to begin building projects and applying for jobs just one important thing post about what you're learning and building on platforms like github and linkedin it shows recruiters that you're serious and consistent you can also tag me in your linkedin post to increase your visibility to recruiters I've also added a bunch of more free resources related to projects and interviews in this road map to make your journey easier. Everything is in the description. And if this video helped, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Data Tool. I've got a ton more videos like this coming your way.